Hi everyone and welcome to our quick video tutorial today where we're going to touch on some helpful marketing areas within the system and also some marketing reports that can be run to gain insight about the types of guests that you have traveling and also where they're actually traveling from. Firstly, I'd quickly like to run through making a booking and pointing out some of the key areas that we need to utilize in order to make sure we're able to report on marketing information. So if I quickly head to our bookings chart, I'm going to select a couple of nights that a guest is wanting to come and stay, and I'm going to add my booking in. When we get to the add booking screen, there's some key areas that we want to ensure we are adding to ensure we're tracking information. The first being the actual guest. So if they have stayed before, we have the ability to search and select an existing profile within the system. If it's the same guest, we can simply select them and that will ensure it attaches all of their contact information that we've previously stored in the system. If it were a new guest that we had in the database that we wanted to create, we can click on the plus sign and that is where we're adding information such as their first name and their last name. We're also tracking details such as where they actually reside. So what area of Australia do they live in or if they're an international guest. So this is powered by Google. So as long as you're putting a registered address in, you can start typing. New book will then refine those results so that you can select and it will pre-fill those details. So that starts tracking information about where our guests are actually traveling from. Underneath, we then have the ability to add in our email and cell phone or mobile numbers. And that's going to allow us to obviously send information through to those guests, such as booking confirmations or even promotions in the future. Separate to our guest profile, we also have a section over here called optional booking details. So we have some fields here, such as method, source, reason, and demographic. These are optional fields that you can choose to implement into your booking process. They can be set as optional or you can actually move them over to mandatory to ensure that staff actually have to enter this information in order to save a booking. So as you can see here, we have market segment with the red asterisk and this just shows a few options that I've created in the system for segments. Ideally, the more information you're tracking in these areas, such as how they've actually booked, where they've heard about you, why they're traveling, and what sort of demographic they fall under, the better you can start to do targeted marketing to these various demographics or regions throughout Australia where you tend to get a high volume of bookings or in the US. Separate to that, within a booking, we also have information such as the rate that they're actually booking on. So this information is also tracked as well. So we can see how many people book on to our stay seven pay six rate or our standard rate. But we can also track information such as how many bookings actually used a particular discount. And we could have created a discount for a certain promotion. So all of these components at a booking level are all really integral fields of information that you can utilize to start tracking and refining your marketing statistics. So if you are interested in adding any of the method, source, reason, demographic or market segments into the system, they are all found in the menu search here. Simply locate the area that you're wanting, such as booking sources. It will take you to that page. You can see a list of existing ones and you have the ability to add them in on the right hand side. If you would also like to make them a mandatory field, you can do this in the system by going to the add booking page. Once you're on here, if you've got access to do this, you will see an options button in the top right where you can actually set them as default fields. So if I click onto this one, I can configure this for myself. However, if it is a mandatory field that everyone needs to register, I do need to make it an overarching setting for everyone. So once I click onto here, if I locate the option I'd like to make mandatory, such as source, I can then simply head over to the right tick the required column, which you can see here, and then save. And New Book will then pull that across over into the mandatory information tab on a booking. So we can now see we have source and market segment here. This is a great option for your staff bookings where they're manually making them within the New Book system. Please note that if you do connect to any online channels, those particular channels are able to also have default booking sources set within them. So if you head to your third party booking channel page here, this will show any channels that you currently connect to and you'll see a column here stating booking source where we've actually preset a source to ensure that any bookings that drop in from those channels will automatically record that information. So now that we've had a look at some of those core marketing fields, we now know 
we are able to report on some of those statistics. So one report I'd like to show you first, which is great to see where your guests are coming from, is our guest origin report. So I'm going into my menu and just typing guest origin report. This is great, it gives us an interactive map where we can look at bookings that may be placed in the current year or staying during this year. And we have some advanced options that we can look at. If we're focused on Australia or based in Australia, we can list that as our focus country. Otherwise, if we're in the US or UK or New Zealand, we have the ability to state those here. If we simply run the report, you're going to see a map will appear at the top of the page here. It also shows guests from Australia any international guests as well, and you'll see it actually splits out what particular state they're from, how many bookings have been placed, and how much revenue and whatnot has actually come in from them. The best thing about this as well is the map, if you hold the control button down, you can zoom in and move around. If you would also actually like to see how many bookings from that particular area, you can double click and it will tell you, look, you've had 28 bookings and how much income you're expecting to bring in from them. We also can actually do a targeted email to those particular guests. So all you need to do is hold the shift button down and then drag and drop over the area. And you'll see once I've done this, it shows that 28 bookings have been selected. Now I can either show more info about them or I can actually view those selected bookings and New Book will load a separate page with a list of all of those bookings for us. I can then bulk select and if I would like to, I could send them an email and send them some sort of promotion or email correspondence based on any marketing promotions that they may have going on. So the guest origin report is great for sending smaller targeted emails to particular guests. The second report I'd like to show you is what we call our guest data report. So heading into the menu, I'm going to open my guest data report. When we're on this screen, you'll see at the top I actually have some pre-save reports that I've already configured myself. And then underneath here, it actually allows me to start creating my own customized guest data report based on specific filters that I would like to implement. So this report is helpful because you can create as many different saved reports that you can reuse year on year. But the idea is that you add filters on to refine the guests that you would like to target. This report can then either be exported to a third party marketing software system so that you can use that as the guest that you'd like to send it to. We also can integrate with MailChimp so you can actually send these reports directly to an audience in MailChimp. Alternatively, we also provide a marketing campaign feature within the new book system that can be added and will allow you to do marketing campaigns to large amounts of people within the new book system. So if I'd like to generate a report that shows me any guests that have been new to us within the current year and also have actually traveled with children and potentially have departed already, I can do that by simply adding multiple filters into the below section here. And then again, I can save this report so I can use it again and again. So all I do is head over to my add filter option. We then have the different options or areas that we're able to refine. The first one I want is my date that the guests have been created. So I want to target new guests, so I'm going to do the current year. Then I simply press save another, and that will save that one filter and allow me to add additional ones to further refine this. So this time I want to have a look at guests that have traveled with children, and I want them to ensure that they have a value of just a child or even allowing both if they've got infants traveling as well. I can then save another, and I'm also going to refine my guests to ensure that I'm only running a list of guests that actually have email addresses on file. So I can restrict my contact types to ensure they have got a value of an email address. Again, we can continue clicking and saving another filter as we go. The last one I'm going to do though is my booking statuses. So I want to target people that have already been and gone. So this one I want to include just departed bookings and then simply save. Now that I have my filters set within here, if I'd like to save this report again so I can use it again and again, I simply select Save Filter As on the right. This allows me to name the report, so I can call it Guests Children 2023. Once I save that, you will see that it adds to the Save Report list above us. Now if I would actually simply like to preview the information that appears within this report, 
At the bottom, I can simply select Run Report and select the output that I'd like to view it in. If I click Run Report now, you'll see at the top, it will then preview that information on screen where we have two guests matching those specific requirements. The great thing about these as well is in those report filters, if there are additional pieces of information that you'd like to display in this list, such as maybe we wanted to remove the booking dates but add another column in, you also have the ability to customize the columns on here as well. So simply click on customize columns, it will show what you have on the left and we can simply remove the items that we do not need to see. We also can add items in on the right and then save. And that will ensure that any time that we run this report moving forward, it will configure and only shows those columns where required. Two other key reports that are helpful to gain insight for marketing statistics are our bookings staying report and our bookings placed report. So heading to our staying report, this is great to see what bookings you've essentially got in-house or staying during the reporting period that you look at. Now the great thing is this can be run in so many different ways and it can group the information to really drill deeper into your marketing stats. As an example, if I run this for the year of 2023, I can group the bookings that have stayed by source. When I run this, you'll get a nice pie graph at the top. You'll then be able to see on the left hand side, it groups all of our various booking sources that we have in the system and tells us helpful information based on how many bookings we've actually received from each one, how many have been canceled, projected revenue to bring in from each of them, average revenue per booking and other helpful information. However, we can then look at this report in another way and go even deeper into these statistics. So out of this information, I might be curious as to what style of accommodation they have actually booked. So I can go one step deeper and keep my grouping by the source, but on the subgroup by, I could pop it onto category of accommodation. When I run this, it's then going to reload that information and show that Expedia has had X amount of bookings in these styles of accommodation and then group those other sources as well. Again, there's a variation of different ways that you can group this report if you're wanting to look at the country that the guests are traveling from, booking statuses, source, reason, method, demographic, any of those details that you're actually tracking in the system. And again, the subgroup by just really allows you to further refine that. Anytime you have a report, we always recommend to click on the advanced options as well, because this will allow you to specify within the report what information you actually want to look at. So if you only want to look at particular sources, methods, reasons, or any other features in here, you can obviously refine those further by simplifying those options in this section. The second report was our bookings placed report. Works very much the same, but it's looking at when bookings have actually been made in the system. So if I'm running this report for the current year, it's telling me how many physical bookings have been saved in new book this year. They could be staying next year or two years from now, but it's telling us how many bookings have actually had come in, you know, each month or whatever your reporting fields are. It gives you the same sort of reporting group by options and the advanced settings here. So again, have a look at those before you run this and then run the report. So we'll get our pie graph at the top. And again, at the minute, it's just looking at the sources and it has those same reporting columns to look at as well. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today. If you do have any further questions surrounding any of these features, remember you can always click into the question mark icon in the top right, and that will actually show you helpful articles based on the page that you're looking at.